Well, in all seriousness, if you just watch that little opening clip, um, as you know, I like to have fun. So, hey, if you're not going to eat lettuce, you might as well fan yourself off on a hot summer day, right? So I've been bringing lettuce in and harvesting it every once in a while just to make some salads. But last night, noticed that um, our, one of our many rabbits made their way into the garden through the gate. So I decided to really bring quite a bit in. So I've already known about pinching back my lettuce and it will keep growing every couple of weeks. But what I didn't know is that the best time to harvest your lettuce is early in the morning. It uh, stays crisper, it is sweeter. So that's why I went out this morning before the sun hit the garden and things started to heat up. And the lettuce that we have here, I bought in a six pack. Didn't even realize that all six varieties were a little different. So I am thrilled with how they came out. I also brought in some of the Lovage, which is the first time I've ever had this before. Um, I purchased it because it said it's a lot like celery, and it is. And the funny thing is, is two times now going out to restaurants, they've had the Lovage in the salads. And I also brought in some of the watercress, which has kind of a, a peppery flavor, for lack of words. It just gives it a little tiny spice to the salad, so I like throwing that in as well. So now I'm just going to wash off the lettuce, dry it off. I put it in between paper towels and then I'm going to put it in a plastic Ziploc type bag and it will last that way up to two weeks. Uh, but just dry off the lettuce before you put it in there and then put it in between some paper towels and you'd be good to go. And while I'm here in the kitchen, it has nothing to do with cooking or baking, but why don't I show you a few of the items that I've purchased out and about while I'm consignment shopping. Now that the stores are open, I've had fun poking my head in, looking for accessories for the home. I'm looking for some key furniture pieces I haven't found yet. So why don't I get this washed, I'll put it away, and then I'll pull out a few of the items that are still just stacked on a table and I will show you those. And then a little bit later, you're going to see some videos of where I purchased some of these items. So you'll see a little crossover, but I'm sure you'll understand. And yeah, that's it. So let's get this summer day going by cleaning some lettuce and looking at some thrift store consignment items that I got for my home. I've already rinsed the lettuce and rubbed it off and put it in the colander here. And, but I'm going to give it one more dunking and then I'm going to put it onto a towel. Then I will put them in between, like I said, um, some paper towels and then into a bag, put it in the fridge. And there's definitely a little more dirt there still, which is to be expected. They came from the dirt. All right, I grabbed some of the things. I'm just gonna put this out of the way. I'll put it over here. So in no particular order, um, just the way I plopped them here on the counter. You may have seen this already in a video from the Peonies. Um, I mentioned I got this vase for $4.99. I got it at Savers. It is so thick and heavy. I just loved the quality of it. Either, even if it's like from a, you know one of the florist deliveries, it's a really great heavy container. I liked knowing that when the, the way the peonies were in here, it was nice and stable and sturdy. Um, at a, it's a consignment store, resale shop, artisan shop. I got this cute little sign that was um, created over an old 
old board. Um, it's got peeling paint and caulking at the top. I liked it. I think I, I bought this for, I don't have my glasses on guys. Um, that's one thing with this uh, quarantine going on, I'm almost out of contact, so I'm like saving them as if there's a drought coming. It's like everybody bought toilet paper, I'm saving my contacts, I don't know. Um, I bought this for $24, and I'm envisioning it might go here behind the counter. Not sure yet, but that is a possibility. Oh, this bag is actually empty. Let me grab what was in there. I got six placemats that spell out farm. I liked the wheat on it, so I thought it'd be really cute on the dining room table going into fall. And I got these six placemats for $10. And they were wrapped in a really cute um, gingham bow, which sold it for me. Seal the deal. I purchased at Savers. Um, that's also where I got the vase, if I didn't mention that. I purchased two containers of cookie cutters. I looked real quick and they're nice small sizes. I see flowers in here, hearts, small Christmas trees. And the reason I'm doing it, I don't know if you can see them back there. I have my cookie cutter jars and I'm always looking for new ones to add. So those I'll be adding to the container. And like I said, I haven't even opened this up yet, but um, I will be doing that a little bit later. And you can probably see it here in the, in the corner frame of the video. I've had the square basket. I found that at Savers, I think it was $5.99. I found that last season and I use it for fruits and to hold things here on the counter. I've used it in other parts of the house. I found another similar one at Savers. It was $9.99. But I ended up getting it because I'm, I have a plan that at the top of our stairs here that leads to our master bedroom. I want to have shelves put in a closet and then collect basket like this to put in linens and hand towels. So whenever I find a square basket, I will be purchasing it for that. So let me just put this down the floor. There are quite a few other things here in the house that I picked up, but I can show you those later. I'll show them in videos. But right now I'm going to put this stuff away finally because I've had it either on top of a table or in my closet waiting to show you. And I'm gonna start my day. It is right now just after nine o'clock and I've been up early this morning, so I'm gonna get some housework done now. Well, kindred spirits, thank you for watching this short video, or I always say short, but it usually ends up longer. I don't know why that is, but thank you for watching my video. If you haven't already, please subscribe. It lets me know that you like what I'm doing here. Sometimes I don't know if you're getting bored with what I'm showing, if I should be showing other items here on my YouTube channel, but I keep saying it. I'm having fun with this and I'm certainly having fun with it. Um, you know, you want more recipes? Do you want more home decorating? Do you want um, more inspirational videos? All I'm hoping is that you might gleam a little bit of information or find something here to enhance your own personal experiences to create your own vision and version of fine living. Until next video, thank you Kinder Spirits for visiting and come back to my home 24-7 whenever you want. Bye now.